It really made me sour on the thought of having sex with him for the rest of my life. Cheaters, how did your affair start and end? I was young, 19. I had been with a girl for a year when my parents decided I needed to pay rent, so I found a roommate and got an apartment. Day one I go to the office to turn in my walkthrough paperwork. The girl in the office made my heart skip. She made me a believer in the idea of love at first sight. She moved in across from my apartment a couple weeks later and we started to hang out. One night we slept together. The next day I broke up with my girlfriend. Me and new girl talked and we both wanted to be together. She moved in with me a month later. That was 17 years ago. She's currently asleep upstairs next to our daughter. Started with tutoring me in math back in high school while I had a serious girlfriend for high school. I ended up living a double life, where everything I did with my math tutor I would end up doing with my girlfriend as well at a later point. It got so bad with the math tutor that I went on vacation with her and told my girlfriend I was going to see my family. After I graduated I cut things off with both of them and through some sort of witchcraft after they found out about each other I was able to stay friends with both of them. I was in a dud of a marriage. I married too young and against my better judgment. My husband was a controlling and sexually repressed man who did not respect me and I did not respect him. I found out that my husband was on dating sites and talking to women online attempting to solicit dates. He was actively seeking to cheat and the only thing stopping him from taking it to a physical realm was the fact that none of the women were interested in him. We worked on our marriage over the years to try to resolve his online cheating, but he'd always start up again. Eventually I got so emotionally worn out by it that I just didn't have it in me to care much anymore. I met a man at work who I was instantly attracted to on a mental and a physical level, something I'd never had with my husband. We started out with harmless conversations and became work friends. We then found excuses to text each other when not at work. We'd grab lunch together here and there. At first with groups and then with just the two of us. I couldn't wait to go to work every day and see him. I thought about him all the time. I knew I was heading toward dangerous ground but I didn't want to stop. We started flirting and I began to sneak away from home to meet up with him for hikes, dinner, you name it. I met up with him for hours at a time on evenings and weekends, and my husband never really noticed because his attention was always occupied with his friends or his online chats with women. My friend from work and I were always careful not to make physical contact, until one day in his car when he leaned over to help me with my jammed seatbelt and he kissed me. It was the most amazing thing I'd ever felt in my life. Over the next few weeks meeting up to have dinner turned into meeting up to find a secluded spot and make out in his car. Then that eventually turned into groping, hand jobs, oral sex. You get the idea. I could not get enough of this guy. I felt tremendously guilty the entire time because I never thought of myself as the type who would cheat. I came clean with my husband before my affair progressed any deeper. I broke off the affair and agreed to try marriage counseling. I quickly changed my mind when during the course of an argument, I didn't want to go to his church and he wanted me to, my husband slapped me and told me I wasn't allowed to have any unsupervised visits with my family or friends anymore. After I told my husband I wanted a divorce, he attempted to destroy my life. He tried to get me fired, told all the neighbors and everyone at his church what happened, posted our business on Facebook tagging my friends and family, you name it. He also threatened to beat up the guy I had been cheating with which, honestly, would have only ended up in severe embarrassment and injury for himself. It didn't take long after filing divorce papers for me to hook back up with my friend and officially start dating him. My husband harassed and threatened us both until my boyfriend called his bluff and then he just sort of faded out. My boyfriend is now my husband and we have been together for 10 years and going strong. I love him more than anything and I respect him more than anyone I've ever met. I would never dream of cheating on him and I feel confident that he'd never cheat on me. Was in a 5 years relationship with my girlfriend at the time. I started to talk to an old co-worker from my teens that I always had a thing for, but she lived a couple states away so I knew nothing would come of it. Well, it turns out that she still had family in my area and regularly visited. We made plans to get some dinner and catch up, for old times sake. It ended in both of us getting drunk, renting a hotel room and having some fun. This happened a few times over the next several months until I get a text from her. It's a picture of a sonogram of our child. I was going to come clean to my girlfriend, because I never had a father growing up and I didn't want to put my child through that. However, she ending up losing it a month or so into the pregnancy and we stopped talking. It left me feeling very guilty and anxiety stricken. Zero ten would not do again. I never told her. 
We broke up a few months later for unrelated problems in the relationship. I didn't get with the coworker. I have a healthy relationship now and I love my girlfriend. I'll never repeat this mistake. I've been married for four years and never considered anyone but my husband. I am totally devoted and in love. A year ago we both went out with some mutual friends. The night went on and he got tired but said I should stay since I never really go out. I was excited to be outside of my comfort zone and drank too much. I blacked out and woke up naked in a bed with an acquaintance who is infamous for partying and her spouse. When I woke up I had 20 missed calls from my husband and the girl's spouse was fondling me. I went home and told my husband but it was hard because I couldn't remember more than a few seconds of what had happened the night before in a vague sense that it was all a nightmare. I felt like I didn't even know myself. I had never wanted anything like that to happen. I wasn't attracted to either of those people and I'm not a flirtatious person. I hate being touched and I consider my husband to be the best thing in my life. He was not angry with me but I felt I couldn't live with what I did. I tried to kill myself and we moved from New York back to our home state of Nevada. Things seem normal now but I still consider that night the worst of my life. I was the mistress in a marriage. The guy was an old boyfriend from high school, we dated off and on. When we were off he would date this girl Kelly, and when we broke up for the final time he went and married her. Almost a year after we broke up, I was back in town on summer break from college and ran into him at my summer job. He gave me this sob story about how Kelly wanted a divorce and was taking his kid from him. I, stupidly, believed him, we exchanged numbers, started talking daily. He invited me over to his apartment, showed me his divorce paperwork, and ultimately things got sexual for a couple of weeks. One day I swung by to pick up a pair of earrings I'd forgotten the day before. His best friend from high school answered the door. I asked if Guy was around, best friend said no why would he? Turned out Guy was actually house sitting for best friend, it wasn't his apartment. Best friend also informed me that Guy and Kelly were in the process of buying a house, their marriage was fine. I was livid and disgusted. I went to work the following day, and in walks Kelly. I ask her what she's doing later that night and if she's available to talk. We meet up after I get off and I lay it all out for her. She teared up a bit, but ultimately she was pissed. She gives me their address and tells me to show up there unannounced the next day. I do and guy is white as a sheet trying to get me to leave. Kelly shows up and they end up in a screaming match. So guy ended up getting divorced and settled with a chunk of child support because Kelly informed the right people about guy's pot plans. None of us talk anymore. When I think about it, I have to shower at least twice. A few years ago, I met this amazing guy. Let's call him guy A. I fell very much in love with him. He was so kind and sweet. We kissed a few times and hooked up once, but he was starting to see this other girl, so it never went further than that. I was pretty heartbroken over it. Fast forward a few years. I'm a year and a half into this horrible relationship. We'll call him Poophead. Poophead is a compulsive liar, yells at me, threatens to break up every time I do something he doesn't like, like whenever I had a panic attack. I'm at a concert without Poophead and I look across the dance floor, and I see Guy A, dancing his heart out, laughing and just being amazing. Hadn't seen him since the time we hooked up, which was a few years ago. My heart skipped a beat. I approached him, we talked for hours, and I told him I was living with a really butthole of a guy and that I wanted out. When he kissed me goodbye, I just knew. I continued the relationship with my poop head for about a week, while still seeing the other guy on the side, before I finally worked up the courage to break up with him. I've been with Gaia ever since and haven't looked back once. Honestly, it stemmed from being insecure. I don't want to believe it, but they say once a cheater always a cheater, and I've cheated multiple times. It's wrong, but I really loved everyone I cheated on and it had nothing to do with that person. It's entirely been because of my own issues. Doesn't make it okay, but it's reality. I'm just being honest. I know it's wrong to cheat, and there's no excuse. I truly am sorry to the people I've hurt. I had a long distance boyfriend in high school. We had been online friends for years and in the middle of grade 12, finally admitted that we liked each other. He was a total sweetheart and was one of the first people who just treated me like he respected me and loved me. So I was ecstatic when he moved to my town for university. Within a month of his arrival, I was realizing we should have never become romantic partners, but was too attached to know what to do about it. He was still a total sweetheart but he basically treated me like a friend he had sex with instead of a girlfriend. Plus, he was one of those guys that had a harem of female friends, 
most of whom had crushes on him, and he was assiduously conscientious of everyone's feelings. So he didn't want to make anyone upset or jealous. So he didn't touch me in public, despite talking at length about how he was going to marry me and our future kids. On top of that, the sex was awful and horribly painful, but every time I tried to gently teach him or otherwise imply that he wasn't giving me orgasms every time, he would start sobbing and beg me for forgiveness that he couldn't please me. 18 year old me had no idea how to handle that so I just pretended I was having orgasms while he turned my cervix to mincemeat. I was stuck in the retroactively absurd position that many women find themselves in at that age where they accept pain and mistreatment in order to avoid hurting the feelings of the person inflicting it. It also really made me sour on the thought of having sex with him for the rest of my life. On top of that, out of some misguided sense of feminism, he also decided that he would never objectify me at all. So every compliment would be about my personality or achievements. In theory, this sounds great. But when I spent an hour getting ready, had zippered myself into a bombshell dress and actually put makeup on, getting a oh, you have such a beautiful mind response messed with my self-esteem a lot. I was convinced he thought I was ugly but was too kind to say anything. Cue a classmate, who on the first day of class, stopped when he saw me and gave me a very obvious appreciative once over. Dude sat next to me for the rest of term, blatantly flirting with me and telling me I was pretty. Me, still primly trying to keep things going with boyfriend, because I loved him, started feeling horribly torn. It was extremely hard to ignore someone who was so blatantly attracted to me, but I managed it for about 5 months. Then boyfriend went back to his hometown for winter break. He spent the entire month going to parties and hanging out with his friends, we talked every day but it was mostly him telling me about how much fun he was having. All of my friends, both old and new, had left the city for the holidays, whether it was for vacations or back home, and I was incredibly lonely and depressed. Sometime near the end of break, flirty classmate discovered that I had been alone all winter break and started inviting me to hang out with him every day. I was ecstatic with the attention but still kept it to just friends hangouts and basically avoided touching him. Boyfriend, by this point, had started looking at classmate with suspicion. Boyfriend came back from winter break, jealous and suspicious. He stayed over one night and questioned me at length about it. I told him, truthfully, that I hadn't done anything with classmate, and while I liked him, boyfriend was boyfriend and he was all I needed. I got ready to go to class and left boyfriend in my room to let himself out when he was ready. As I was leaving, I had a sudden tickle of intuition. Turning around, I went to the kitchen, made boyfriend some breakfast, and brought it back up to my room, on the pretext of surprising him. Open the door. Boyfriend is going through my diary. Q screaming fight. He wanted to make sure I hadn't done anything. I was enraged that he had invaded my privacy, at the point, I took my writing really seriously and my diary was extremely important to me. I was also enraged because I had been so careful to be a proper girlfriend and not cheat or do anything inappropriate with classmate, even though the temptation was strong. I couldn't avoid classmate entirely, we were in the same class and were grouped together for a big term project prior to winter break. I stormed out and went to class. Classmate was immediately aware that something was up and cornered me to figure it out. Angry with boyfriend, I confessed everything. Classmate asked if I liked him. I nodded. Classmate kissed me and I kissed him back. It went downhill from there. Classmate really was a butthole, but he was average in bed, which, unfortunately, made him's leagues better than boyfriend, who was terrible. He also fed me all the attention that I had been craving from boyfriend and had not gotten. I couldn't figure out how to end it with boyfriend, because I still loved him and I was still an insecure, scared 18 year old who had no communication skills. Boyfriend ended up finding out within a month or so because he went into my email account and read all my chat logs. When I went to apologize to him, he slapped me across the face and told me that losing my mother as a kid had messed me up too much to deserve anyone's love. So yeah, not sure if I didn't dodge a bullet there. Not happy with my own behavior, but I'm not sure how else things could have played out given how insecure and terrible at communicating I was. Haven't cheated since and it's been 10 years. Was living with my girlfriend at uni. Towards the end of my degree I had a field trip abroad and a good friend and I realized we maybe would have liked to be more than that. Got home, said to my girlfriend that I wasn't sure things were working and I needed some time. We had our finals to do and I didn't want to screw those up for her so didn't dump her outright. Meanwhile the other girl and I got closer and a few things happened. Eventually, after our exams were done I broke up with my girlfriend, adamantly denying there was someone else. 
Now, 12 years later me and the other girl have been married for 5 years, and my ex is married to a woman. I had an affair with a co-worker that was significantly older than me. We were both in very unhappy relationships, he with a woman whose spending habits spent them into multiple mortgages, and me with a man that was rapidly developing a serious drug habit. It took about a year before anybody caught on. Co-workers started noticing, he eventually ended up in a round of layoffs. I got caught first and my boyfriend moved out. Not long after that, he filed for divorce from his wife and moved in with me. It was a vicious divorce that ended up lasting years. We've been married for 10 years now and are still very happy. His ex is doing great also. My ex-husband and I weren't even sleeping in the same room when I met my affair. Ex just wasn't interested in sex, and it was causing so many fights because I was so unsatisfied. I met my affair on WoW, and we knew each other for about a year and had never flirted or anything like that. One day I found out that he had settlers of Catan and mozzarella sticks. And lived an hour and a half away. I hopped in the car and drove down and we hit it off really well. He didn't know I was married at the time. I really needed to get laid. It had been about 6 months. At least. The affair never ended. Or I guess it officially ended when my divorce was finalized. He and I are married now and have been together for 6 years. My ex-husband and I were probably never meant to be, we were young and dumb and not looking ahead, we married. Three years and a kid later, I was miserable and he couldn't understand why. I saw the handwriting on the wall, he didn't. We were not on the same path, had very different goals. We separated and tried marriage counseling which didn't help. I started seeing someone else during this separation period. We had already discussed divorce but yes, we were still married. The new guy I started seeing was 5 years older than me and we just clicked. I could finally be myself and as we discussed our aspirations and goals I could see that he was someone who was much more aligned with where I wanted to go, and would be supportive instead of being me down, like my ex. I am happy to say that I divorced my ex and am still with the guy I met. We have been together 6 years now. We married 3 years ago this August. We are life partners, soul mates. We see eye to eye on all the big important stuff in life. My life has changed drastically for the better in the last 6 years. I have accomplished dreams that never would have happened with my ex. We just weren't right for each other. The ex and I had a very nasty divorce and a rough few years. It took a long time to tolerate each other's existence. He was very angry and hurt by the breakup and reacted poorly causing a rift that took years to heal. I worked diligently to keep our daughter from feeling the tension or being harmed by the negativity. She is an amazing child, so I'd say I succeeded. New husband is an amazing stepdad. So, it has all worked out for me, but there was a lot of pain and suffering along the way. Was it still worth it? Yes. Oh my god, yes. Thanks for listening to Radio TTS. Hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell for more controversial videos like this one. Share your own story in the comments below, and let us know if you have cheated or have been cheated on.